Hello guys, Darko here, welcome to my new calibration video. This time I will show you settings after calibration on Philips POS 6501, that's Philips new UHD TV in 2016 lineup. This particular model has screen size of 49 inch diagonal. By default you are guessing right, although there are many picture styles. By default we are in standard picture preset, which on this reference image says it all. Too much blue, very bright image with lots of details in highlights and inaccurate colors, especially for secondary cyan and magenta colors which are shifted towards blue. So I highly recommend that you skip this preset as soon as possible and same goes for natural, vivid and personal picture presets and also game and photo and you should consider only movie, ISF day or ISF night. There are two ISF modes, one for day, brighter with higher luminance and ISF night for dark room environment watching movies and other content. Okay, I did calibration for ISF day with peak luminance at 185 nits. Let's now jump to this settings menu and go step by step. Color was at default 50, I left it like that. Contrast is actually luminance of the screen. As I said, peak luminance is 185 nits, which I achieved by selecting here 70. You can increase or decrease depending on how you want the picture to look like. Sharpness at default 2, I did not see any issue with test pattern, so I left it like that. And now let's go to advanced menu, here computer needs to be off. Color, separate menu. Here I selected color temperature custom and adjusted these values. Red 127, this is default value. Green 101, blue 54 and remaining settings are at zero. As usual Philips only offers one point white balance adjustment. In this case, since white balance characteristic was even across the spectrum, I could easily achieve really excellent result. To be honest, much better result than with previously tested and calibrated LG's UH664 model, which offers 20 point white balance and gamma adjustment. Still, I managed to get better result, better colors, more even and accurate picture with this one. Color control, this is only in ISF presets available. Here you can precisely adjust hue and saturation of primary and secondary colors. Let's see how this menu looks. Red at zero, yellow at minus one, green at zero, cyan at plus one, blue plus nine and magenta at zero. A few information about color gamut of this TV. I'm sure many of you will be interested since this is a UHD TV that reads HDR metadata. So it can only cover 79% of DCI-P3 gamut, which is not enough to really show more vibrant, highly saturated colors. And it covers by default around 97.9% of Rec. 709. So for watching standard Blu-ray movies, this will give very accurate uh, colors according to original source. Okay, now let's see saturation menu. Red plus 4, yellow plus 12, green plus 8, cyan plus 6, blue plus 5 and magenta plus 3. By default gamut luminance was lower than it should be. So we had to adjust these settings for all colors to get more accurate result. In contrast mode, I recommend for the most accurate picture contrast mode to be off. Dynamic contrast is off. Brightness at default 50. 
video contrast which is actually setting of white level I had to reduce from default 100 because it was clipping details in whites. Now let's go to light sensor. If you want TV to automatically adjust luminance of the screen depending on the room lighting, you can enable this option. Sharpness, I'm not a big fan of this artificial sharpening algorithms. I'm enough satisfied with default upscaling, so this is off. Noise reduction off and MPEG artifact reduction off. Depending on content, you can engage these options. Yeah, it's really up to you. Going to motion, there will be a separate video regarding motion of this TV, but here to avoid soap opera effect and to get clear image in motion, I only recommend to engage clear LCD. Finally, picture format. I recommend here to go to advanced and select original. Otherwise there could be a little bit of overscan involved and basically then you're losing edges of the image and getting low resolution. This is the first Philips 2016 TV that I'm reviewing and I can say that I see big improvements compared to not only last year but previous years where Series 6 models had many stability problems, many issues with controls. This TV was really a breeze to calibrate and overall result is great. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, drop me a note and see you soon. Yeah, whole review coming very, very quickly. Bye!